What's up guys? The two hottest smartphones right now is the HTC One and the Galaxy S4. But there's one phone that I believe is underrated and that's the Oppo Find 5. Let's dive right in and why I believe it's one of the hottest smartphones right now and possibly better than both of those two devices that I just mentioned. So without further ado, let's get started. Oppo, a company well known for their Blu-ray and MP3 players has never been considered a real player in the mobile realm. However, that could change soon with their newest product, the Find 5. Having released what is arguably one of the highest quality Android phones ever made, rivaling even the HTC One's premium build, Oppo could have a winner on its hand. Let's take a look at some of the hardware specs. The Find 5 features an attractive 5-inch display with a 1080p IPS screen giving it a pixel density of 441, which is way beyond what Apple likes to call retina display. Without a doubt, one of the best looking displays today, the viewing angles are tremendous and it's one of those phones you have to see it in person to really appreciate it. This is due to the fact that it uses a one glass solution, also known as OGS display. With OGS technology, it combines the touch sensors with the display panel to form a single piece of glass, giving it that vivid and lifelike appearance. This also helps in keeping that super thin bezel measuring in at 3.25 millimeters, allowing it to have that awesome edge to edge display. With a screen like that, you would only expect the internals to match, and they certainly do. Powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor running in at 1.5 GHz with 2 gigs of RAM, it's capable of running anything you throw at it while maintaining good energy efficiency, keeping that 2500 milliamp battery with NFC on check. The Adreno 320 GPU provides all of the graphic processing power, allowing you to experience silky smooth picture quality, the Find 5 is also available in 16, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. All of this is tied together on a steel frame unibody design that feels premium and built like a tank. There is even a guy on YouTube using an Oppo phone as a hammer just to give you an idea of how well these phones are built. Looking on the outside of the device, you'll find a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, which is capable of capturing excellent pictures. The f2.2 aperture allows you to take great pictures in low light situations too. And although I think the HTC One hit it out of the park with their front facing speakers, I will say the Find 5 has one of the best, if not the best sounding rear speakers I have heard on a smartphone. This is partly due to the fact that it uses Dirac HD sound, which is usually found in high-end audio and cinema sound systems. You can definitely hear a difference, and although you have to hear it in person to experience the fidelity, here are some samples just to give you an idea. But despite all this awesome hardware goodness, where the Oppo Find 5 shines compared to phones like the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One is the software. Like TouchWiz on Samsung and Sense on HTC, Oppo has their own flavor of Android but taken to a whole different level. Pay attention Android manufacturers, you might want to learn from these guys. The Oppo Find 5 is a phone for you, made by you. If you have a good idea and want a new feature, no problem. Go to the Oppo forums and suggest your feature. If many people vote on it, you can watch your feature being implemented in the next update. Speaking of updates, the Oppo Find 5 gets updated every other week via over the air. Yes, you heard that correctly, that's twice a month. These are features requested by you, the user. They even have weekly updates if you want to manually flash them, which is not a big deal. Imagine this for a second. If Cyanogen Mod came out with a phone tomorrow, the Find 5 is pretty much that. But Oppo goes further and tries to create something that developers salivate over. Oppo is also a member of the Open Handset Alliance, working together with Google to keep the Android platform open. And because of this, they are GPL compliant. With its kernel source code release, 
This means developers from all over the world can get together to make the Find 5 even better. ROM tweakers like CyanogenMod and Paranoid Android have already added support for this phone. Even rooting was a breeze, taking me less than a minute to do and by far making it the easiest phone to root I have ever owned. Another way the Find 5 makes for a desirable phone is its price point. You can buy a Find 5 from their website contract free for $499 out the door, delivered to your home. The HTC One and the Galaxy S4 on the other hand are significantly more. The question is, are they worth that much more too? Overall, the Find 5 has been a pleasure to use and it's definitely a great phone. It's far from perfect, but what phone really is? Because they are constantly working to improve the software, it's a great phone for those of you who love to tinker and don't really care for the Nexus line. I'd say it's one of the best Nexus alternative, therefore making it the most underrated phone today. So the Oppo Find 5 is a beautiful phone. As you can see, I'm running Paranoid Android and I have the bottom soft keys, which is really nice. And because this phone, the way it was made with the bottom capacitive keys, you can disable them and it almost looks like the phone was meant to be like this. And I just did a couple tweaks to you know, hide the, uh, the light, the LED, so that they won't show and it's a really nice phone. And that's what I really like about this phone is the attention to detail that Oppo has put. Even when you start unboxing the device, you can see that they sort of had that, I wanna say, Apple approach. You know, Apple does a really good job at putting together their boxes so that when you open one of their devices, it almost feels like you're opening up a present. And that's exactly how I felt when I unboxed the Oppo Find 5. There was a lot of neat things inside, even the, uh, the little uh, push thing to take out the SIM card. Uh, you know, it's actually the logo of Oppo and that's pretty interesting. You get also a, a nice uh, pair of headsets. Overall, they, they did a fantastic job. So what did you guys think? Do you guys think this phone is better than the Galaxy, Galaxy S4 and the HTC One? Let me know your thoughts down below. Currently, this is my daily driver. I love this phone. I love to tinker with it. And that's just basically it. This phone is meant to play around. And think about the resale value too when you end up selling this phone. You know, a lot of phones like, you know, HTC is known to not update their devices. So they kind of get stuck in limbo and the resale value gets really affected by it. So think about this. This phone, you know, the, the, the company is putting so much effort into updating the device that you know, even despite, you know, hacking it and doing everything that you want, if you want to resell it and put the, the, the stock firmware back, you can rest assured that, you know, they're probably going to be up to date with the code. And that's a beautiful thing because you can resell this and, you know, that's a huge selling point. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll probably do a couple more follow-up videos in regards to this uh uh, Oppo Find 5. So if you like it, make sure you subscribe to that and share this with all your friends. I hope you enjoyed again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Adios.